Hey guys, and welcome back to more Card Hunter. So the screen you've seen the whole time is this screen. This is the campaign screen. But it's a Let's Play is really complete without me showing you all the features of the game. So there's also multiplayer, which you might have seen. Multiplayer functions in a different way. Um, so in multiplayer, you characters don't really have levels. It's easy to show you here. These are my campaign characters. So they are not levels. They just, everybody gets the same base characters with the same amount of power tokens. And then you build those characters based on those things and equipment you have. However, there's a very powerful feature they put in here, which is really good. You can purchase pre-made parties. So the pre-made parties come with loot already on them. So as you see, some of these weapons are weapons my character had, some are changes. But pretty much it gives everybody an equal footing by giving them a free party. So that's pretty neat. You can buy different pre-made parties and they're actually, they're quite powerful for, because for a hundred thing, you get quite a few good items. So I'd recommend buying the pre-made parties before you bought chests. <laughs> I wish I knew that when I started, but neither here nor there. So pretty interesting. So, pre-made parties, make it balanced, and then you can balance your characters however you like. As you see, I added a manhunter to this guy and put on the spike. I don't even know how to say that, but the bar plate mail is amazing. Especially in, because anytime someone attacks you, they with me the attack, they take damage. Very powerful. So, do I also have a different helmet? Well, I actually like this helmet more because the medic armor is so good. This armor prevents damage from any melee create a bunch of weapon if magic create a spark card. So, very powerful. So, and I don't really need these boots that well. Split is good, but hmm, actually, there's nothing. Yeah, if I take these off and I go boots. Where are my charge boots? Yeah, I think I'll probably use my charge boots. I do have Ibril's boots, magic and projectile, but put these on, use that one, exchange it out here, and then where's helmets? Then I'll put on the flexible space helmet. There you go. So, happy with that with some bruiser because I have a bunch of bludgeon attacks. So, these are actually crushing as well, but I don't think, I think Bruiser only does bash. So, but definitely useful. So, the same thing with the other characters, you can kind of modify them any way you want. I just got this staff, it's a level 15 legendary staff. It has a lot of ember burst, which is good if people group up. So, but we'll give give that a shot here so make this place super good too with the burning so hmm I was to see if I have any more elf I haven't really played that much just enough to kind of get an idea Ooh, I do like sp smashing spin because then if people are near to you you can really Target by an enemy's friend. And that could be really good as well. Now I want to go slashing spin instead. And this is just amazing. Spark conductor and spark generator are really good. So, yeah, like, yeah, I really don't need more movements. I don't like even having too many movement cards in my deck because you can just draw them and then instead of drawing attacks, you're drawing movement cards. I actually do have. A lot of does have a lot of minor crystals I could be taking advantage of here. I guess I could just go to uh, what is it, arcane items? But yeah, I don't think I have too many choices. Yeah, I don't. So yeah, best thing. The other, only other thing I guess to show you is item island. It's just easier to get to all these things here. So. 
Anyway, so let's start the rank match. The other thing is the Astral Tournament. Um, I will probably explain that in a different episode, but pretty much it's a tournament. Well, let us see, let me... No, maybe, well, let me click it. I don't want to click off and lose my search for math. Pretty much it's a tournament also on level ground. You get random characters and you have to use them to outsmart and defeat your enemies. It tests your ability to be flexible and figure out complex battle situations and it's the only way in the game you can actually win pizza however it does cost 50 gold to enter but the rewards are great you can get epic chests pizza so we're definitely going to give that a shot here so if our weight expires we will just fight melvin i personally like fight melvin because it's a pretty much a free win you can do it quickly and you more quickly get to your next chests there's also ranking the more ranks the more games you win, the higher you go in the ranking, the harder opponents you fight. So, it looks like we're probably going to fight Melvin. So. so, let's load again, and I'm guessing we're fighting Melvin. So. So Melvin generally has random teams, but a lot of times it's two warriors and something else. So this is two warriors wizards. Sometimes you see two warriors and like a cleric. So. I'm just going to run up here. If anybody comes into range, then I can hit him. Okay, well, this way I don't have to discard. Uh, I'm going to hold on to it just in case Felvin moves up because I still have this guy to move. Always use your slow cards first as well. So. Move here. Um, I don't think Melvin's going to do anything else, so may as well a burst. And it puts a burning effect on, so. That's always nice. I can't. Don't have enough range for flame spit, so we just end the round. So actually, here I'm gonna get rid of bludgeon because blocking is huge. Okay. Drop guard from Mills Rag. Do I have another ember burst? Awesome. Let's use that now. Perfect. So Magnus Bay Flames bit. I'm gonna have her hold there for now. Yeah. Melvin passed. So he doesn't really have much for attacks, but I do want to start contesting victory points. So if I move here, that's I just have to really move up one. But if I move even here, then I can flame Magma spray them, but I don't really want to put my... No. I just move up one. Okay, she does have flame spit, but <laughs> we have Drake hide, so... Pretty much the Drake hide blocked damage and it also stopped us. We rolled successfully, so we did not get the burning effect. So she's running away, which is fine by me. Um, so I can run up on either of these guys, but I'll run up on this guy. So if he tries to hit my priest, he has a harder time of it. How much health has she lost? She's only lost one health. Otherwise, what am I discarding? I can discard unreliable block in the run, so that is fine. What's up, Billy? Mm. I'll block, get rid of that. Cause it's only a four more you draw a card. And I'll get rid of the unreliable and the dash. Okay, he did block there. Okay. So we know he is... I don't know why this is. Does that count as armor or not? It... I know it's an aura, 
but I'm not sure if it counts as armor as well. But let's just see. Okay, it did count as armor, and it is discarded. So we do a melee card. Yeah, it's keep as well, which is amazing. So we got two of these armors now. Um, do we know if he has a blocker? He is. How what's the range of that one? So we know. We know he can't reach us, and I don't really want to get hit by that card. So. And it also gives me a magma spray range. <laughs> he moved up, then ran away. I actually should have hit him when he's in range. I didn't think he. So. But we don't really need to. Um. Yeah. We'd we'll be discarding a lot of attacks, but I don't know, I'm not that worried about it. So at the end I'll get him to dash into that victory square and then we'll not have a problem. It's pretty much whoever holds the most victory squares as you've probably seen in previous. So. Yeah, so. I guess I can just team heal here. Keep the help weak. So discard. Oh, I had to discard from this end first, and then this end. Keep a heal. The attack is just generally quite good. Also, she has to cut hide that prevents her from taking the rest of that flame damage, which is actually fine. Um, I didn't get any attacks, so I'm just going to chill. Yep. So that character's here. So, I'm going to leave her there for the moment. How many reveal cards Mel Drags had? Two. Locked. Nice. Got the push back. Oh, p perfect. I actually got a block on Fimsy Bok. Not too ha often that happens. So, only place I could charge in from would be here. So if I if I need I want if I choose to move in later, give me that chance. But so I don't know. I think we'll just end our turn here. That's what Muscle do. He's gonna keep damaging himself with blind rage. So no point rushing to the point that you're gonna get yourself in trouble. Guess we'll keep lunging hack. So sorry if this is a little bit boring, but <laughs> good strategy sometimes is. So I'm going to take two damage here. <laughs> Let's be funny. Um, yeah, I'd rather just kill him with something like Force Cannon. Hmm. One move. Here, I should be able to still see him, I suspect. He just doesn't have any. attacks. It's gonna have him run back. Yeah. So I can have him walk into that square. I want to f quickly force cannon him, get him killed so he doesn't do any more actions. Melvin is just passing. I only have one walk card, so. So yes, what shouldn't have gave me a 
Misarm prevents enemy melee damage. Thought it did success, unless that made me discard it. No? Thought it was keep added to damage. Oh, Stagger makes you discard two cards, and one was the armor card I was going to use. So. Oh, another staggering blow. That is rough. I can actually. <laughs> nice. And then, not looks like doesn't really have anything else, but I may as well slashing stay away. Let's run the corner. Ouch. Took quite a bit of damage there actually, but. And it, oh, it ended up with nobody being in that victory square. But, so that would have been the win. <laughs> But, I can easily get it here as well. I have to use all of them, and just potent stab them. So, there you go. So, exactly what you want to do, hold victory squares, and only go for fights when you need to. So, as you see, I went for a fight there, and it <laughs> resulted in it taking no a turn longer if I just would have waited on the victory square. So. Ooh, legendary boots. Escaping run, one legend bash. It's kind of using the jackrabbit boots. Mm. That actually might be good for... Because charge is not always the best. Yeah, that's the place. Our charge can be powerful, though. I do like charge. It gives you... Also, it gives you a lot of movement. Five movement, so... So, I don't know about that. What boots do you have? Flanking move, healing dash. Healing dash can be really good as well, but you don't have... Reliable hide is pretty bad, so... Oh, but you don't have room for another boot that costs. But she does. He's in one male hack. Step one, slide back one. Eh, that I see is good because it's a draw card. Draw cards are always really good. Treasure, epic treasure, 200 gold. L scamper. Mm. That's not anything interesting. I'll keep that and sell the shield. Perfect. So we will turn to the lobby. So then guys, thanks for coming out for some Coward Hunter multiplayer. We'll do another one in the next one, and hopefully it will not be another Melvin match. Thanks, guys. Later.